Evan, very testable. Very, very testable. Voting, you know, in our corporate charter, we will stipulate the type of voting we're using. I think, Brian, one of the reasons Elon Musk is so uh, ticked off is that he wasn't around at the founding of Tesla. Even though we call him the co-founder, the corporate charter for Tesla already existed. And Tesla has statutory voting. Most corporations do. With statutory voting, if I have 500 chairs and we're voting on three board seats, 500 yes, no, 500 yes, no, 500 yes, no. I think, Evan, like the state of Nevada has statutory voting. If there are 10 propositions on the ballot, I get to vote simply yes, no, yes, no on those 10 propositions. I would love it if Nevada used cumulative or block voting. Because if I had 10 props on the ballot, I have 10 votes. If legalizing cannabis is my big thing, I could put 10 for or 10 against, and I can't vote anymore. So with cumulative block voting, statutory is called regular way, if we have 500 chairs and we're voting on three board seats, I'll get Brian his board, we would have 1,500 votes, and we could spend them in any fashion we would like, is Brian is showing there. Evan, one of my favorite uh, business history cases based on this was a company where the single largest shareholder uh, was not on the board. And they were using cumulative voting, and he decided he wanted back on the board. Evan, he put all his votes on himself. Hi, guys, I'm back. Him and six guys who can't stand him. The next time that they come up, the board is usually staggered. He voted for his attorney. Him, his attorney, and five guys who can't stand him. Human voting protects minority shareholders. In this story, Evan, then he got an activist shareholder, and between him and the activist shareholder, they own 50.1% of the stock. And they said to the board, listen, you need to get with the program here. If you don't, we're going to call a special shareholder meeting, and what we're voting on is liquidating the board in one fell swoop and reconstituting. I'd add one more thing, very testable, Evan. Some corporate charters like Google, uh, like Facebook, like Ford, have super voting shares. Super voting shares are very testable. And that's where you have more than one vote per share. So like Zuckerberg shares, dual class of equity it's called, his shares have 10 votes per share. So it's unlikely we're kicking Zuckerberg out of Facebook, right? The Ford family, for example, on 7% of the common stock, it has 10 shares of votes, so they control 38% of the votes. Again, that would be stipulated in the corporate charter. So all of those are testable. Statutory voting, also known as regular way. Cumulative, also known as block. I would know cumulative protects smaller shareholders. And then super voting, more than one vote per share. All right? Anything you want to add to that, Brian? It's very testable. 